Thanks to everyone who has subscribed. If you have not, please do. And thanks for coming out here. I really appreciate you. I was here to be that leader. Mm -hmm. The leader will push down all the way around. Mm -hmm. sure he steps. Mm -hmm. All the police governors who take charge in the field of things and ensure there is no employer. This is what we saw. Breaking news, Nigerians react as Yahaye Bello volunteers to lead NSAS protest. I tell you, those who have eyes will see, those who have ears will hear, those who mean well for Nigeria will begin to unfold and they might not be the people you think. There are some who say they love the people, but their actions speak otherwise. You know, uh, Bello Yahaye is um, the Kogi governor under APC, where we have Muhammadu Buhari, the ruling party, as the president. We know that President Muhammadu Buhari has unleashed on Nigerians, Nigerian youth operation Crocodile Smile. This is unprecedented. Buhari has not shown himself to be what he professed. He has shown to us, his actions have shown that he's the most fraudulent person ever to be alive in Nigeria. Constantly, truly, and really, this man has continued to oppress Nigerians. But what we are hearing from Bello Yahaye, uh, Kogi governor, under APC, you know what he said? I'm going to lead the protest. So let me see them come shoot down at me. Yahaye, well done for even speaking that way. You know, I've seen a few governors who have spoken. One of them is him. Another person is Wike, the governor of River State. God will bless you guys for standing with the youth. These are people, I mean, their actions, I, I, I'm not generalizing, just their actions is saying that these are people who mean well. And if given the opportunity, we do well for Nigerians. Let's get onto the news and get all the details. Breaking news, Nigerians react as Yahaye. Bello volunteers to lead NSAS protest. Several Nigerians on social media has reacted to the governor, Yahaye Bello, interest in leading the end protest. NSAS protesters, Bello, in a tele televised broadcast television program on Monday, volunteered to represent the protesters, vowing to make sure that their demands were met. God will bless you, Bello. God will bless you. 200 times, God will bless you. Speaking on AIT, he said, I volunteer to be the leader that will push down to their demand and make sure it is met. He also revealed that he planned to march with the youths from Kogi to Abuja on the 24th of October. His comments were not received well as many citizens wasted time did not waste time in rejecting the expression their reaction and the nigerians began to speak some of them says uh he's taking he's not taking it serious he thinks the youth are joking uh some appreciated him for wanting to be part you know of the ensas protest because we need all hands on deck to be very honest you know uh why some prayed for him and say uh yahaye has you know his presence would be a big weight on the ensas protest if he leads it and um, that would put political you know op op to make the government know that we are really serious some others did not take it well. So, I mean, you are not everybody's cup of tea. That's the truth in life. Why some like it hot, some like it cold. Some even like it in the pot. 
three days old, neither hot nor cold. If it's not three days, they don't they don't get it. So that's it, my people. Um, he's he, when he was on a TV, he was on AIT when he said this. Um, the reactions were he was sarcastic about it. He did not take it serious. Does he think we are playing, or the, what does he take us for? Why some others appreciated that if he will be true to his word and really come on the match, it will be a big boost. Some people did not find it funny. So whatever the case is, you know, Nigerians, we need to rise up. We need to step up to the fact that we have a voice. We are a people and nobody can oppress us. This is one thing. This is one thing we'll have. The government can try all their best possible, you know. They should continue and continue to do what they think they are doing. But the truth of the matter is the end, like they say, will always justify the means. And the end will speak. It will surely come to pass. You see, when these people keep saying that, um, you know, they, don't, they, they, they keep oppressing Nigerians and they don't want this country to move forward, there is a time, once upon a time, your child will grow up. That child that you give all the directives and everything will grow up and that child will begin to make decisions, will begin to take responsibility and the time will also come that child begin to take decisions for you. This is what Nigerian government, they don't want to hear about. They don't want to know about. But the truth of the matter is, is inevitable. You cannot stop the process. It's called the way of life. That is the way life goes. So when you have a child by 17, you've already seen the potentials of that child. I mean, it's already fully expressed, you see. And gradually, the child turns into the 20s. Some get married as early in their 20s. Some later in life in their 30s. Before you see it, they are taking true responsibility and there is a transformation. You see that gentleman or gentlewoman. You see them taking charge, you know, being, being a leader, even advising you, talking to you. But Nigerian leaders, they want to keep the youth babies forever. It's not possible. It's not possible. A baby cannot live in a court forever. The baby will outgrow the court. So that's what is happening. That's what Nigerian governments are not getting and they don't want to hear about. They want to keep oppressing the youth. They want to do it on their terms. They want to keep, you know, pushing down on the neck of the youth uh, to say, you either listen to me or you listen to me. But come on, come on, come on. Children are growing up and we cannot continue like this. We cannot continue with injustice in our community and allow it to thrive. We cannot continue. We see what you guys are doing. We see it. We know. We know. And um, especially with this police, all that is going on and how you guys are pretending like you are not aware of what is going on in the country. We see it. And guess what? There is a God who sits in heaven and sees all that is going on. Anybody or everybody that does not want this country to move forward, they themselves will not move forward. You know what it means? They will not move forward. They cannot see forward. They cannot see it. Because they will have to go so that we can move forward. We are a nation. We are a people. We are, we are, we are a voice, you know. And um, we, have to make, we have to make our voices count. Irrespective of what they think. Irrespective of what they, what they want for us. We know what we want, you know. Maybe this, uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Bello, this can redeem, this, this may redeem you. Because you know that is one of the governors that have been on visa ban from America. You know, they found this, they found this re-election fraudulent and what have you. This could redeem you. If you tr stay true to your word, we can write to U.S. on behalf of your, of, your, of your personality to say that you are one of those who stood with us, who wants the true cause of democracy. You may be pardoned, you see. So Nigerians, what do you think about what this guy has said? I would like you to leave me a comment. Please leave me a word. Uh, let's hear your thoughts on this matter. Don't forget to like us to share, to subscribe, to click on the notification button. So you can always get all our latest news. You see, Apple Line Media, we keep you up to date. We bring you up to date with the latest authentic news as it drops. Have a fantastic day. God bless you. Bye for now.